the best way to data mosh or data bend is with a hex editor. You get a lot more control than if you're doing random stuff with Audacity or Notepad. There's a bunch of free ones that you can get. I really like HXD. I'll give you a download link. It's really easy to use. Once we pop a photo in here, we're going to see two columns, hex on the left and ASCII on the right. These contain the same information expressed in two different languages, so any change to one side will automatically translate on the other. The main difference you need to know is, briefly, hex is written in character pairs of letters A to F and numbers 0 to 9. Extended ASCII code has 256 characters, practically everything you can make with your keyboard. Numbers, letters, symbols, weird stuff. And to mess with this, you can just arbitrarily type into the text string like here's an unaltered photo that has had nothing done to the code and then if you paste in like a Shakespearean sonnet, this is number 69, it turns into this. You can also select a chunk of code and move it around, like cut it and paste it somewhere else or make a bunch of duplicates. For the best results though, I use search and replace commands with control R. Any change to the code will change the output so always save it with a different file name so you don't ruin your original photo. If you go too crazy and break the file, you can go back to the unaltered image and start again making more moderate changes. Don't forget to put in the file extension, HXD doesn't do this automatically. If you make a really huge change, like turn all 1s into 2s, which is pretty extreme, the file could break or output an image more corrupted than is desirable to you. If your results are too extreme, work in smaller increments by replacing a string of characters with a minorly different one, for example, change 1234 to 1235. So occurrences of 123 stay the same and solo 4 stay the same, but any occurrence of 4 after 123 will change to 5. So the overall set of data is not changed in a really major way, but there is diffuse change throughout. JPEGs and GIFs are really lossy formats. There's not a lot of data, so a small change will be noticeable in the image, but a lossless format like PNG BMP, PCX have a lot more information, and if you're having trouble making a dent into it, like if you're making small change after small change and not getting any visible results at all, something drastic you can do is to change a line of characters into a smaller line of characters. So if you change ABCD to ABC, the program will actually warn you that you're changing the file size by doing this. And this is fine, because if you break it, again, you can just go back to a previous version and do something else. But this is one way you can really attack these very beefy file formats like PCX. Keep exploring different avenues and experimenting until you find something that you want or discover something that's better than what you wanted. This exact procedure works for video formats too, but there's going to be another tutorial focusing on that.